Hi guys, let's start with the Kerala Government Bank robbery at Klembara in the Malapuram district of Kerala. Considered to be one of the biggest and most sensational bank robberies in the crime history of Kerala. The bank was in the second floor of a building. The ground floor had a restaurant that was up for rent. The four member gang rented the restaurant by giving an advance payment of about 50,000 rupees. They shut down the front door and placed the board saying that it was under renovation and would reopen on 8th of January 2008. To make things more convincing, they even brought a new furniture for the restaurant and much construction materials for the site. Those who were watching the scene would have thought that repairs were going on, but they were cracking the first floor open where the strong room was kept. They cracked it and made a big enough hole in the ceiling to the strong room. All the money they took was from some iron safes which they cut open using a gas cutting machine. They took away gold and cash kept inside the safe. They robbed around 80 kilograms of gold and 50 lakhs Indian rupees, a total value of 8 crores. It was a challenging task for Kerala police to begin investigation as there were no evidence and no leads available for them to proceed with. Like many other bank robberies, it was done at the wee hours of Sunday since it's a holiday and it had come to light only on the next day. However, police made a computer graphic sketch image of the main culprit as illustrated by eyewitness and neighbors. The criminals tried to create an impression of Naxalite involvement in the robbery by quoting a sentence Jai Mao at the scene of the crime to deviate enquiry. There were many attempts by the culprits to divert the whole attention of the investigation team to Hyderabad. According to police officials, the criminals had purposely left one kilogram of rooted gold in the hotel room in Hyderabad and made telephone calls from many different cities of India to mislead the investigation. The police team also monitored all telephone calls in the closest mobile signal towers at the location of the crime during the midnight hours of the incident. It was a big task monitoring more than 2 million calls. The help of various mobile service providers and IT professionals was also enlisted for the probe. And finally, it was the identification of a secret phone number used by the main suspects to communicate between themselves that became the turning point in the investigation. The accused were hiding in the Koli Code house and arrested four people including Joseph alias Jason alias Babu. The kingpin of the operation along with three others including a woman and recovered around 80% of the stolen gold and money. It is the first robbery in the crime history of Kerala, so much money stolen. The police further said that the remaining items would be traced within days as accused have already confessed their locations. The official arrest was formally announced on 28th of February 2008. The robbery leader later confessed that the crime was inspired by the Bollywood movie Doom. 